aviation, biotech, logistics, three industries many feel are prime for growth here in the Piedmont Triad, possibly taking the places of textiles and tobacco. Well, tonight's Newsmaker feels another industry needs to be added to that list. It's hospitality, housing, feeding, transporting, and entertaining visitors. Nino Jaimo was born into this profession, and today it's how he's making his living. The Triad Business Journal recently named him among its 40 successful local business professionals under the age of 40. He's 38 and determined to get more people on the hospitality bandwagon. It's another Saturday night at GIA, Drink, Eat, Listen in Northwest Greensboro. The three big letters in red <coughs> represent the first three letters of Nino Jaimo's last name. You'll often find him behind the bar practicing his craft, which includes not only mixing and serving beverages, but small plate entrees customers are encouraged to talk about and share. I felt that Greensboro needed a restaurant that was completely different. Three words came to my mind, and it's what I wanted folks to do here with me, and that's drink, eat, listen. All right, the listen part. Uh, talk to me about that. One thing I noticed about Gia and the small plates concept is the fact that folks aren't buried in their cell phones. They're actually here. Yeah. And people, I feel, have lost this and are buried here. You could say it's a throwback to when Jaimo used to hang out at his dad's business as a child. His father used to run Sal's Italian restaurant on High Point Road. After graduate school, Jaimo came back to Greensboro and got a job at the front desk of the O. Henry Hotel and within six years became the general manager of the O. Henry's sister hotel, The Proximity. But he says his entrepreneur spirit kicked in and he opened Gia in 2012. He also now owns the La Quinta Inn and Suites, which opened near the Piedmont Triad Airport late last year. Why get into the hotel business in Greensboro? now when there are so many others opening up. On the northwest side of Greensboro, there's so much opportunity going on. It's really the connection and the hub of the triad. But Jaimo stresses opportunity and connection are the hubs of both his businesses. I call Gia a teaching restaurant. For example, in our kitchen, everything's made from scratch. And every four weeks, we are essentially training our culinary team a brand new menu and you're learning new techniques every four weeks. On top of that, for the entire staff, we spend a lot of time on beverage education. It's not that hard, you just gotta be excited about it. He even taught me how to make a garnish infused okay. gin Next and tonic. Thing, slide that down the side. Like that? That's yeah. it. Good. Next thing is we use uh, Fever Tree. And it only That's took it. about a minute. I'm on the clock, so I, 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 won't I, I, I will just uh, we'll cut do, the a, do a sip. That's good. We are always looking for great folks that are passionate about food, beverage, and taking care of people. And with the amount of hospitality avenues in our city, opportunities are endless. Yeah, helps good. Jaimo also feels if more businesses would become teaching establishments and offer people entry-level real-world experience, it would solve one of the area's biggest economic challenges, keeping the local university graduates in town after graduation. I think there's just not enough opportunity for these graduates to get their job here so they're having to go to Raleigh or Charlotte or wherever else instead of bring it home. You have to have an eye for detail and you've got to be passionate about what you're doing. Many of the local colleges, universities, and community colleges have hospitality programs. Jaimo even teaches courses in UNC Greensboro's Department of Marketing, Entrepreneurship, Hospitality, and Tourism. His restaurant even offers mixology classes and other educational events. For more information, just take the link from this story, which will soon be on our website, myfox8.com.